the best player in the world for you now? For me, over, over the five, uh, over, I will go with Leo. I will go with Leo, although I respect Ronaldo a lot. I respect the amount of work he put, he put mm. into the game, the amount of dedication he has. Mm. But Leo is just a freak. What's the difference between the two? Because everyone always debates about them. But I will say... The, you've played with Messi, so what's the difference? I will say, although Leo works a lot, but you have, it's, it's nice actually for the kids. You see one guy that it's kind of a gift. Like, <laughs> it's, uh, what it does, it's unheard of. I mean, I've never, I don't know if you will see that ever again. And you have a guy that does it with work. Everything that he ever did. You played with him. Mm. Luisa told me that he used to be in the gym for hours. He's the hardest he working footballer I've worked with. That's my point. So you have that example. I'm not saying that Leo is not working. I'm saying that you, you see it more as a natural thing for mm. him. It's more natural. Mm. Here, he had, Ronaldo had to work really hard to reach the top. Mm. Within Leo, you have a guy like Leo, like it's, it seems, it seems natural. I would say that's, that's the difference. Who's the best player in the world? Lionel Messi. Who's the best player of all time? Lionel Messi. Um, probably the best in the world. It's going to be a, a really tough battle, but I think, in fairness to the lads, we kept them quiet for, for maybe 80, 88 minutes during, during that game, and he's produced something really special. Um, but it just goes to show that you've got to be concentrated for the whole 90 against him, especially. A big admirer of him, or probably everybody, but um, my boys tonight didn't show too much respect. They were really there. They tried with completely legal things. We didn't treat him harshly or whatever to try to get him out of the game. Um, we played just football, and I liked that. Yes. I knew before that Lionel is a world class player, and now I saw it again. I'm not too surprised. To be honest, I don't want to talk about the other five. Messi would be the, for me the player I, I saw would be number one, 100. percent That's that's me. We don't have we have to say that Cristiano Ronaldo is for sure in that as well, and all the rest we have to see. Yeah? I hope I saw a few good. I've, I've coached a few really good players, so but they didn't finish careers, so we have to, and um, they still have t time to develop. My father always said it's Pelé. <coughs> didn't see Pelé live. I'm too young for that, um, but. Yeah, there are a lot of good players around there, eh? but that's uh, my ranking. Leon is for me the best. Leo Messi ha hecho una exhibición más. No se ve ahí en el campo teniendo de rival y creo que te ha dado su camiseta, por ejemplo. Sí, increíble. Lo de Leo, bueno, eh, no hace falta que diga nada, lo demuestra partido a partido como él juega. Por algo es el mejor del mundo y bueno, ya todos lo saben, ¿no? Eh, sí, me dio la, la camiseta que me la, la estuvo viendo mi, mi padre, si no se la llevaba, me mataba. ¿Qué te dijo ahí en ese momento, Leo? No, 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 hablamos un poco de todo, lo saludé, que hacía rato que no lo veía y me pone muy contento de verlo. ¿Es de vez para ti? ¿De vez? Me decía haber estado de vez, ¿para ti es el mejor jugador del mundo? Sí, para mí sí, eh, pero bueno, no, no hay que hablar de mucho. As players, you want to play against the, the best players in the world and, and Messi is certainly that. So, um, yeah, he's, he's a fantastic player and I'm sure uh, we'll do our best to, to stop him from adding to that record in, in England. Yeah, well, he's set the standard. I, I, I think him and Ronaldo have um, gone above the, the normal standard that other people had set in, in the years gone past. And um, yeah, when you're scoring as many goals as, as he is and um, 40, 50, 60 goals a, uh, a season, uh, as a striker, I want to try and match that and try and uh, do the same. So um, yeah, he's definitely set the standard for, for the rest of us. Um, and he still is, he's still scoring scoring goals. So uh, for me, it motivates me to get even better and improve and, and hopefully one day, uh, yeah, score, score as many, if not more, than, than what he has. Uh, I don't know, I'm going to the World Cup for a bit, so it doesn't mean I'm going to sign Lionel Messi. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm a football man, I look across the board, we'll take those decisions. No, um, you know, we'd love to sign Lionel Messi, but uh, reality says no. Other than that, we'll, we'll sign to improve the team. Uh, so it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter where they're coming from. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> uh, this is a good question. Uh, <laughs> uh, we are talking about uh, uh, the best player in the world, and uh, Messi has the capacity uh, to uh, 
to solve the situation and uh, to, to create a chance when uh, you, uh, um, you are not seeing the chance to, to score. And uh, uh, this means that uh, this, uh, this player, we are talking about a, a fantastic player. Uh, coach, uh, during the World Cup, there was a leaked WhatsApp audio where you said, uh, you know, uh, Messi is very good, but he's good because he's accompanied by extraordinary players. And if you had to choose between Messi and Ronaldo for a normal team, who would you choose? I would choose Messi and Ronaldo. I would choose Messi, seguramente. No tengo ninguna duda. Si no, si uno tendría dinero para comprar un futbolista en un equipo normal, posiblemente Ronaldo encajaría mejor. Ahora, en un equipo importantísimo, Messi seguramente, rodeado, es mejor que Ronaldo. Sir Alex, si uh, los um, owners de Man United te dieron un blank check um, over the summer y te permitieron traer a cualquier uno, solo uno de los equipos de Barcelona de hoy, ¿quién te dieron? Es una de las preguntas más estúpidas que he escuchado en mi vida. Pobre Mascarano. <laughs> Test my patience. When I left Barcelona and I went to Bayern Munich and now in Manchester City, never, never asked Lionel Messi to come to join Bayern Munich or here when I was manager. I never went to the clubs, both clubs, and said I want this player. Never. So because I am, I know how important is this guy for 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 FC Barcelona. Myself never spoke or never spoke with the clubs by a Munich inside to say, I never make the first step to say I want this player, never. I will never do that. No, I think obviously the best football in the world is Messi. Messi is, uh, is better, is better than Cristiano. So talking about talent, you've played with some great players in your time here at Man City, at Barcelona and various other clubs. Who is the best player you've played with? <laughs> Audio, you know it, you know it. Definitely, but, you know, Messi. Messi. But why? Tell me why. Give me something that we don't know. What's he like in training? Is he the same in training? Does he do some crazy stuff in training? What, any stories? Yeah, but uh, I will tell you something, you know. I hear about, I hear about Evra sometimes because, yeah, I'll be able to talk with him quite a few days, quite a few times. Uh, with Talos Tevez, I was well. He said Cristiano Ronaldo is a type of player working hard, but Messi is different. Messi is like, you know, Chinese. is like people, is natural. type of guy, yeah, natural, you know. And the training is always easy. It's always guys who is very good with the ball. He's will never do crazy things. He's will never work hard. You know what I mean? It's always especially in the, in the game, you know, football game. Who for you is the, the hardest player you've come up against? Or the best player you've played against? I think Messi again. <laughs> Who's better, Messi or Ronaldo? Well, I think for the last five years, Messi's been the best player in the world. And I think this year, Ronaldo's really taking his game to another level to a point where you can consider him the best in the world at the moment uh, but you all you always know Messi is lurking in the corner and you know he can explode at any given time ¿Cuál es la siguiente pasión para Te digo cuando cuando año, mucho tiempo va uh -huh. eh, Barcelona venía a Los Ángeles eh, Ronaldinho eh, fue un amigo mío eh, estaba ya hablando con Ronaldinho Ronaldinho me dice eh, Kobe mira te voy a, a introduce a presentar, a presentar el juego que va a ser el mejor juego de todos los tiempos. ¿Tú qué? ¿Tú eres el mejor juego? Él me dice, no, esto aquí, esto aquí va a ser el mejor. Fui Lionel Messi, tenía solamente 17 años. Chiquito. Además. Chiquito. Y la carrera que ha tenido ahora corresponde con el liderazgo y lo que te dijo sí, con el niño sí. también, además. I would say uh, Barça without Messi, I would say Liverpool favorite. I, I never say Messi is the special one in here because everything he does, he does all the time. When Messi has the ball, 1-1-1, one, 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 you are dead. Lionel Messi, you played with him. Um, does he still impress you, what he does week in, week out? I think Messi is one of a kind. What he's doing, I don't know if we will see another player do the things that he does because he has his way of playing, the style and the... Uh, to become that player, I don't think it's possible. That's why I say it's one of a kind. I had the, the luck that I saw him every day and I saw what he was doing every day. So, I mean, I said it before, it's like playing PlayStation. You give the ball to the guy and you start to, to go through every player. And that's, that's who Messi is. And I think we should be 
appreciating, especially Argentina should appreciate that they have a player like that and they should enjoy him while he's playing because he's a beautiful game. Um, which of the matches you played in do you still think about the most? That one you just showed there with Messi. Rome and Wembley. And the, probably the, the FA Cup final against Arsenal. We lost, we, should, we battered them. And the FA Cup final against Chelsea. And the semi-final against Everton. Well. <laughs> that's what happened most of the game that I'm chasing him, look. Um, this is possibly one of the most embarrassing nights of my life. And the, the one at Wembley. This is in Rome, where we got beat in the Champions League final. But the thing about him is that he doesn't even, doesn't even come near you. So you actually, me and Vidic stood on the halfway line once at Wembley and looked at each other and just went... <laughs> and we were losing, like, and we were standing there thinking, I've not even touched anyone, not even got anywhere. If you're a defender in a game, you want to get near people or at least get the ball. We didn't, we didn't have the ball and I didn't get to put my hands on no one to, to rough up or anything like that. And the problem is, is when you did get close to him, he was that small and quick, he was going underneath. <laughs> so I, was like, I was trying, normally, normally you go out and you hit someone yeah. in the chest and he was just going underneath it and I was thinking, this guy, he's a magician. He's the best player I played against. He was just devastating and I feel it, we all kind of felt if we played against that Barcelona team without Messi, we probably would have won. Time stands still for him. He's not on the same wavelength as everybody else. Even us watching yeah. it, you kind of, as soon as that ball was set back, great ball by Iniesta, mm. you know exactly what's going to happen with that. Very clinical. Yeah. It's, it's almost as though he, he, he stands above the field and watches it down, like we are from up here. Mm. Yeah, he's playing at the same time. It's remarkable. I, I just feel that he, in his own eyes and his own vision, yeah. the game just slows down for him. Yeah. He plays in slow-mo because it, it comes to him so easy and so mm. naturally and everyone's fast. <laughs> erratic when he comes yeah. into the box but Messi just goes right the ball's come here yeah. the goalkeeper's going to go that way so I'll go that way yeah. puts it in and makes Courtois look silly yeah. really with but a great finish it, it is great to watch from on high to see how he does it because it, it, he's remarkable isn't he he is remarkable. I mean, just, just his first touch, his movements, how clever the space he finds mm. yeah, in the little small clever pockets. Mm. He's just, he's a one-off yeah. for me. And it was just but great to be in the same stadium as yeah. him. Never mind compete against yeah. him. Like you'd, I love have to, to. you'd love to play with him, wouldn't you, all of you? I mean, just give him the ball. You imagine. <laughs> give him the ball yeah. and with it. All that <laughs> times you are playing in that Barcelona, so you've been a bit embarrassed by him. Yeah, well, I would have been my mighty. I, yeah. yeah. I, I just want to be in a training round. Yeah. I bet you oh, there's stuff he does in a training round that don't even get onto the pitch here that yeah. people go, wow. I mean, you speak to some of his teammates, current and ex-teammates, and they say, some of the stuff he done there, mm -hmm. you, you can't even talk about it, it's that good. I know, I, I go on about him a bit sometimes, I get a bit carried away, <laughs> but so. honestly, he's, he's mm -hmm. something remarkably special. special.